Welcome back. Staying away from the cookie jar can be hard sometimes. I know, I know. <laughs> so that's why it might help a bit to bring a healthy twist to the treat. And we're so happy to welcome back Hy-Vee dietitian Brooke Rush to help us out with this recipe. Thanks for coming back. We're so excited to have you here. Of course, I'm so excited to be back. It's been three months and I'm ready to get cooking. And it's been three months because you had a special thing happen in your life. Tell us a little bit about that. I did. I had a sweet little baby boy, Declan. Um, he's, he's three months now. He spoils us. He's super smiley and he sleeps really well. So cool. I really feel like I can't complain. He's a pretty great baby. That's incredible. Sorry. Adorable. And we're just so happy for you. Thank you. From Thanks. one mama to another. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. Absolutely. All right. Well, today I actually like, like you just said, cookies can kind of be tempting. Yes. And oh, I yeah. wanted to make, well, I like to call this a super cookie because Ooh. even though it does have cab calories, it has really healthy calories in it. So it's also a really easy recipe. So Matt, I'm going to start over here with you. Basically, we're going to mix Kay. all of our dry ingredients. I already have our flours in the bowl. I have whole wheat flour and white flour, three-fourths cup of each. Kay. I'm going to have you add some oats. So these ingredients together are gonna give us some fiber, help control our blood sugar. Perfect. We've got our ground flax seed and some chia seed. Both of these seeds are a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, very good for heart health and brain health. Our seasoning, so I've got some cinnamon, some salt, I've got some baking soda to give a little rising, and then some yeast as well that's going to uh, help also make them nice and fluffy. Good reminder. Yep. yep, and the last ingredient is I've got some vanilla pudding mix. Oh. This is going to add a little bit of sugar, but also add some fluffiness to those cookies. That's where we're okay. talking right here. Right? Whole yeah. thing? Whole thing, yeah, All dump right. it on in there. I'm going to have you mix that up, and Kyrie I'm going to come over to you now. Okay. We're doing the wet ingredients. All right. So in front of you, I already mixed together the butter, the brown sugar, regular sugar, and a little bit of peanut butter. All right. So I'm going to have you dump in the eggs, the vanilla, and the water. All right. And the reason that I did put peanut butter in this okay. is peanut butter is a great source of protein. It's going to add some creaminess as well as some awesome flavor. Um, some people really need to have a few extra calories. So whether you're nursing, whether you're pregnant, if you're exercising more than usual, we might need a few extra calories. So go ahead and mix that up for me. Okay. And that's why I added peanut butter to this recipe, not just because it tastes good, but it's also, also healthy for us there too. You go. All right, and once these are all mixed together, basically what we're gonna do is I will steal your bowl, Kyrian. Okay. That looks awesome. Say how much do I need to mix? Yeah, just, you know, as, as well as you can. I mean, that looks really good. Okay. And you basically add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredient bowl. Okay. okay. I don't know about you, Kyra, and mine looks pretty good. <laughs> I think mine looks better. <laughs> I, I like this recipe too, because if you look at the final product, you know, it's got lots of color, like it's got the speckles from the chia seeds. And the chia seed and the flax seed actually don't really have much taste. So they're only adding nutrition and not really adding flavor, which is great. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add our dry to our wet ingredients there we and set go. that aside. Okay. We mix this together. We don't want to over mix, but we just give it a nice little mix here. And then I've got two other ingredients to add, all okay. right? I've got our walnuts. Now, walnuts mm. are our high V dietitian pick of the month okay. because they are a great source of alpha linoleic acid, which is a really good omega-3 fatty acid, good for, again, our heart and our brain health. Okay, so we'll add a cup of those. And then I also have, almost everybody likes chocolate, right? That's the Matt Sheehan pick of the month there right there. There we go, yeah. So 60% dark chocolate. When we choose 60% or more, the American Heart Association actually says this is heart healthy. Okay? Yep. Hey, so, right. Yeah, so they endorse the chocolate argue. there. So we mix this all together, scoop it just with a little scooper here, put it on our baking sheet, and bake for 8 to 10 minutes. Not simple. too long. No, really, really simple. If you're a gluten-free person, it's a really easy exchange. I brought a gluten-free flour over here. Okay. Basically, you just do the same cup for cup ratio. Um, so that way, it's an easy gluten-free cookie. If you want to try it, I'm actually having an event this weekend on Saturday from 11 to 2 where I'll have these cookies made gluten-free for people who need to eat gluten-free. Awesome. And we're saying we love to see the end product here. Yes. yes. Obviously, we don't have time to bake them fully here, <laughs> but you already did the leg work and they look, they great. look fabulous. Well, thanks, guys. Wait. Go good with a glass of milk oh. and the wine glass. And Kelsey, I know, I wanted to be kind of fancy, <laughs> a little bougie. right? There we <laughs> go. Yeah, bougie. There we go. I like that <laughs> word. <laughs> Eight to ten minutes. This blows my mind. I mean, that's much, you know, not as long as some of these other cookies out there. So that's great. Exactly. And, you know, you can have two cookies in a serving. They're only about 230 calories calories for two and they actually have four grams of fiber which cookies do not normally have really right. any fiber in them but it's right. from the oats from the flax seed from the chia seed and from the the whole wheat flour there as well so a lot of really good nutrition in this recipe good anything else like potassium or protein in there that might uh 
help too? You know, there's great protein, which is going to help keep us fuller longer. Fiber does that too as well, um, but fiber also helps control blood sugar. It helps control cholesterol as well. And those chia seeds and flax seeds are good at helping control triglycerides. So it kind of is a, like I, I called it a super cookie yeah. for a good reason, right? Lots, Lots of, of texture. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. might be the key to becoming Superman. Maybe we can finally <laughs> figure it out. Right. You have to let me know later. After I you will. One, how you're feeling extra super. I'll try two of them. There you go. <laughs> for the serving. <laughs> And one more time for your event for those who may want to attend. Yes, it's my gluten-free event. It's this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I'm actually going to have a lot of gluten-free and gluten-friendly options for people to try because I know gluten-free can, gluten can be expensive. Right. So I want you to try it before you buy it. Very All good. Right. Thanks so much. Yeah. We're so happy to have you here today. Thanks, guys. I know. I'm so excited back. to be back. Yeah, I love being here in the kitchen <laughs> cooking with you guys. Well, we love having you. And we will have this recipe on our website, ciproud.com.